Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. I have run my errands, I have hunted my rocks, I have gone to the gas station to use the restroom and grab some beef jerky. While I was at the gas station, I got everything out of my camping kitchen that I would need to put inside the van, so to speak, so it's inside the van anyway, but like, so I can access it. When I get into stealth mode, because I'll be eating later this evening in my van. The sunset is beautiful, just so everybody knows. Wow, Lake Michigan sunsets are fabulous. Uh, anyhow, I should be back to my stealthy camping spot in about 15 minutes. And I had to make sure I had everything out of the camping kitchen that I would need, you know, paper plate, bowl, knife, spoon, that sort of thing, uh, before I got there because I don't want anybody to know that I'm there. So, um, that's that. I'll be there shortly and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Fire in the sky, guys. Beautiful. I'm going to hang out at this gas station until nightfall, which is in just a few minutes. So I'm on the right side of town, just a little ways down from where I'll be hanging my hat tonight, waiting for the sun to go completely down so I can get over there and hang my hat in my sneaky stealthy spot. And this is what I wanted to do yesterday, because yesterday I didn't even know where I was staying and I wanted to kind of check out the place before it got dark. But that didn't happen, but today I'm on the ball. So I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting until the sun goes down completely so I can mosey on down there and button up for the night. So that's that. See you shortly. Hey guys, well here I am all buttoned up for the night and didn't have any issues getting in here or parking. I actually didn't get out of the van this time. Last time I uh because I just wasn't prepared enough and was out longer than I should have been. I didn't have my stuff out and ready to go, but this time I did. So while I was waiting over there uh, a ways down the road, I got my uh, Reflectix ready to stick in right quickly, and especially the windshield, because that takes a minute, and I didn't want to get in and out of the car. So I had everything ready, and I did the windshield front first, and then I took my shoes off in the front seat and climbed over and uh, never had to get out of the van. So that was good for me. And now um, I've, I'm all washed up, I'm all cleaned up. I even brushed my teeth, I'll brush them again before I go to bed because I'm gonna have a sandwich now. But uh, I wanna talk about this little table, my little slash side table um, bench thingy. This is the best thing, it's the perfect height. I just stick it right next to my bed down here and my refrigerator is right here, you can't see it, but I just grab everything out of the fridge, I make my sandwich, I have a little table, it's perfect. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to make a turkey wrap, kind of the same one I made the other day. Uh, have a bite to eat, and then I'll be back, and we'll talk jackery and temperature. And by the way, I did not heat the van up. It's pretty comfortable in here right now. All right, guys, dinner's done. It was great. I really enjoyed it, and I was so hungry. So... Everything is cleaned up. I've got my warmer clothes on tonight because it's going to be cooler tonight. I think the temperature is going to be down in the 30s. And I just don't want to be cold. <laughs> so I've got fleece leggings on. I've got my long sleeve and a, a fleece vest here. And I feel actually pretty comfortable in here right now. So let's talk temperature. Right now it is 41 outside with 83% humidity, 64 in here and 51% humidity. So not too bad. And I'm really comfortable. I've got my fan running here just to circulate air, a little crack in the windows here. And uh, so far so good. So let's talk condensation. So this morning when I took off all my window covers, I had slight condensation on these two side windows and the back window and the windshield. I did not have any on the um, windows that have the curtains on them 
or these two little windows here just didn't have any condensation but the bigger ones did and and these ones are the ones that had the uh the, you know i had them crack the windows so but it wasn't a big deal it wasn't like a ton it wasn't dripping it was very slight it's the nature of the beast but when i get up in the morning i will run the the uh heater with the ac on and pull all that moisture out of the car so right now i feel good and um I think I'll be comfortable tonight. I've got two sleeping bags. I've got warm clothes on and I have this, which I wore rock hunting my my Milwaukee jacket. Oh my word. I didn't intend on going rock hunting at this one place. I just decided I was gonna get out and go for a walk down this break wall. And lo and behold, I look left and whammo, a gazillion trillion rocks. Just calling my name, I had to go. Well. I wasn't, again, like I said, prepared to do the rock hunting, but I did have that jacket on and remembered it when I started freezing. So I turned it on high. I had my down vest over it. It was fabulous. Can't say enough about it. So I was very thankful I had that on. And it was a very productive rock hunt on my dad. So that was a surprise. So I have that if I need it in the middle of the night or in the morning. I'm totally okay with that. Let's talk Jackery. When I pulled in here tonight, it was at 98%. And right now it's at 96%. And of course my refrigerator is hooked up to it. And the refrigerator, which is an Alpacool C20, draws 35 watts, which is nothing. I have it on eco low setting and I don't really even know anything about the other settings. I just, I never actually ever put that refrigerator on a different setting. This one suffices, so I just keep it there. But uh, yeah, that thing's the bomb.com. Another wonderful purchase. So some of these things cost a little bit of money, but you don't have to do that. It was just, uh, I wanted to do that and I had the money to do it, so I did it. Certain things like the Jackery, I think, it's a great investment, not only for van camping, but for just emergencies at home. I've taken it um, just outside with me when I've needed to, you know, charge my phone and my husband's out working, he'd put his phone on it, you know, and whatever. I mean, it's good when you have a little power outage. It's a great little thing to have. The refrigerator, I take that when I go on trips. Take it when I go to our cabin. It works out perfectly. You don't need ice. See, the whole thing for me was I didn't want to deal with ice. I don't want to deal with ice. I did that for years camping. It was a pain in my rear end. And I don't ever want to do it again. You just always, we're always thinking, oh, I have to drain the ice. I need more ice. And it's always that stop at the store. I just was so over it, man. So I said, not doing it. Investigated refrigerators. That's the one I came up with. And I'm glad I, I'm glad I purchased it. So those two things were a few bucks, but they make my camping adventures so much more enjoyable. Right now, uh, the Jackery is at 96%. I'll have my phone charged up to it tonight. I'll have, of course, my refrigerator. And um, I don't think anything else. This is the bomb.com too. Love this little thing. I take this with me in my purse and I take it to the beaches with me. It's a double cell and it really charges. It's a, like a quick charge. I don't know, it charges your phone fast and it uh, does two phones. So I charged this last night. So it's good to go for today. My fan's uh, charged up, but if it should die, I'll just plug it in. So yeah, my day was great. No complaints. Beautiful day. Kind of chilly towards the end of the day. But uh, like I said before, I got in this parking lot relatively easy. Didn't feel like anybody was watching me. It was perfect. And I didn't get out of the van. What else, what else did I want to tell you about? Oh, let's talk about the convenience of van camping. So I was thinking as I was driving down the road today about the pros and cons of van camping. Well, before my husband bought me with this van, I had a Subaru Forester, which I never camped in, but I wanted to. I was going to take my son at that time. I think he was 10 and we were going to do a little trip and sleep in the car. Uh, it didn't transpire for whatever reason, but... I had all intentions on doing it, and that was before I had all this stuff. I was actually going to tent camp with him somewhere, but on the way, we were going to camp one night in the Subaru and then head to our to our campground, but that, that never happened, and we never ended up doing that. So the idea of uh, camping in a car has been around for a while, 
but before he bought me this van I was tent camping and I, lo I loved ca I just love camping I love being outdoors I love doing all that stuff but I'm gonna tell you something right now this for me being all by myself is so much more convenient than having to haul everything to the campground put all the stuff up and then guess what you're stuck at the campground see that's what I don't like I don't like being stuck anywhere and even when I did tent camp I'm gonna tell you something I never stayed there I was gone the entire day and I always came back at nighttime because that's where I slept so I would wake up I knew where I was going what my agenda was going to be which was always rock hunting and all this hiking on the shorelines and then I'd be gone all day I'd have food in my car I'd have everything in my car but I'd have to come back to the campground to to rest and sleep and that's when I had my son with me but this way you don't have to do that. And I know this can't be for everyone because you have a family, but maybe you can get a bigger bigger van or like, I don't know, you know, or a little bus and redo it. To me, it's just so much more convenient, so much more convenient to, to have everything already set up and just leave your driveway and, and go wherever you want to go and stay wherever you want to stay. And the fact that this van blends in everywhere makes it all the better. I don't have to worry about it so that's another pro if I had a camper I couldn't do that if I had an RV I'd, I mean I mean you could but people it's like more noticeable I'm hanging out in my van and nobody even knows it it's awesome so that's that's a game changer for me because then I don't have to go and go back to a campground or a place or whatever I can just go where I want to go hang my hat where I want to hang my hat and call it a day I do like state campgrounds when I take my granddaughter with me and, and uh, I meet people there and I don't mind it in that regard, but it has to be a campground that's on water. I don't do campgrounds that are in the middle of the state when there, where there's no rocks. What the heck am I going to do out there? There's nothing to do for me. I love to be on the water, so all my campgrounds are on the water. Another pro, maintenance. I don't have to maintain another this thing. This is just my family van. I keep it nice anyway. When I'm done camping, everything comes out, clean up the floor, shake all the rugs out, put the seats up, and I'm good to go. I don't need another thing. This is all I need. Less is more, guys. Less is more. I'm telling you. Once you wrap your head around that, it's a new day. So, yeah. The convenience factor and economically... It's super economical. Now you don't have to buy all the things that I bought to make your adventure. You do what you can do for you. These are just things I researched and looked up over a year and little by little purchased them. When I was tent camping, I did the same thing. Before I even started camping in a tent, I just kind of researched things and got what I needed and I had everything I wanted. Now back Back then, it was just different because I had to set it up there and it was a tent. This, I just set up my van and off I go. And I can stay anywhere. Yeah, I am so content in here. have everything I need. Don't need a thing. Don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to go anywhere to use a bathroom. I don't have to go anywhere to get water. I don't have to go anywhere to get food. I don't have to go anywhere to sleep. And if worse comes to worse... I could turn my van on if I wanted to. I could turn my van on and get warm if I needed to. So, I don't know. This is just a win-win for me. But anyhow, that's that. Had a great day. Tomorrow, uh, I'll be going to my cabin to visit my family. They're coming up. My son uh, gets out of school in the afternoon. My husband will pick him up. And he, my son, and my in-laws will be driving up to our cabin. So there you have it. That's all I have for you. I think I'm going to relax gonna call it a night soon and I'll catch up with you tomorrow well good morning it's about eight o'clock I think and this is what we got going on here it's 30 outside it is 40 in this van oh, right, 41 it looks like in the van oh 42 in the van and uh, nippy but I'm completely comfortable. There's not a part on me that's cold except my arm that is uh, holding this phone outside of my sleeping bag. So, yeah, it's pretty cold outside, but honestly, uh, these window covers are super helpful. And uh, I'm really pleased with them. 
there's like a 10 12 degree difference right now but i mean if i didn't have uh, my sleeping bags and my warm clothes on obviously anybody would be cold but the fact that i'm prepared and i have what i need to sleep in these temperatures um just makes it not a big deal so yeah uh, my night went well i was completely content i was not cold not any part of me was cold uh, my nose didn't even feel cold and I didn't wear a hat either so I I would have I have it all I would have put all of it on had I needed it but I'm really really toasty but anyhow I uh, just wanted to check in and let you know what the temperature was in the van overnight and I'm going to shoot a quick video here of the condensation on the windows if there is any this morning probably there is but I'm going to do a a full roundabout when I take all the covers off so we can just see what that looks like um, and I did roll the windows up last night at some point so I I, uh, I knew I just had to do the best I could last night to keep as warm as I could so I did roll the windows up eventually they were just cracked anyway anyhow feeling pretty good this morning I'm just gonna get up and add them and get my act together and I'll catch up with you guys later okay guys I've got the van all cleaned up I've used the restroom broke it down put it away and I can't tell you what a blessing that thing has been I think it's fabulous to be able to have a comfortable way to relieve yourself in the morning so uh, as you know I use cat litter in there clumping cat litter for the liquids I don't use it for number two I try to find a place for that just really haven't had to it hasn't really worked out that way I mean if I absolutely had to I surely would but it hasn't come down to that yet so um, Anyways, the van's all cleaned up. My privy has been put away. I'm going to get ready to uh, uh, take the window covers off and see what the condensation situation looks like. So let's do that while we have you on here. Maybe you'll be able to see it while I do it. See? That window, no condensation. It's so weird. Didn't yesterday either. I don't know if you can see this has a tiny bit of condensation right there that little strip there and again I did not have my windows um, open all night last night oh look there this one doesn't have any condensation either does it or does it I can't see my glasses are not but I do not see any let's see here sorry for the wiggle guys sorry for the wiggle Oh yes, this one does. This one indeed has condensation. I'm gonna flip the camera around. This window does have a condensation. And let's take off the backpack here. See if we can see what this one has here. And you know these are stuck on with su suction cups. Sometimes you oh, yeah. And this one doesn't have condensation. It's so weird. Oh yeah, it does, right up there in the corner. Right up there in the corner. But not much, not much at all. Not much at all. Let's go check the windshield. All right, as you can see, we have a pretty decent amount of condensation on the windshield, but nothing the old car heater AC situation can't take care of so all in all no big deal in my mind let's see what the curtains nothing on the curtains see what I'm saying nothing under the curtains let's grab this one these things are the best too oh a little bit on that side interesting isn't it well there you have it guys that's my condensation situation I'm gonna turn the car on. I'm gonna get some heat in here because I'm gonna be taking off soon. And uh, let me just show you since I have my camera up. See, I'm kind of parked in this parking spot behind all these trees. Sorry for the bouncing around in bushes. And it's really nice back here. I would stay here again. All right, one thing I realized was a lot of that condensation on the windshield was due on the outside of the window. However, there was a small amount on the windshield and I wished I would have recognized that before I hit the windshield wipers and I would have showed you. But uh, 
it was it's the majority of it is on the outside but uh, the other thing I recognized was is um, on the side of the van where the Sun comes up there was obviously little condensation and on the other side that was in the shade still had more condensation so that all came together when I got a little bit more clear-headed but um yeah that's what I know all right I'm on my way to grab a coffee edit a little bit of video and uh, I think I'm gonna head up to Cross Village all right catch you guys in a little bit